traveling isn't all sunshine and rainbows, things don't always go to plan. Yeah, in today's video, we have a terrible storm which ruins all of the plans. I nearly lose my drone, but we do manage to find some amazing food. So join me and let's explore a little bit more of Chumpon. I'm Joe Perilla. Join me as I travel from Bangkok to this place, the most southern point in Thailand. So if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below and follow me on this journey as we discover the south of Thailand. Well guys, the plan today was to ride around the province of Chumpon and explore what it has to offer. But as you can hear, and as you can see, the weather had other plans. So we're gonna have to have a rethink. Maybe it'll be a food video. Oh well. Okay guys, not one to be defeated that easily. I think we'll keep the cameras rolling and we'll see what type of video we can make, but it's definitely not going to be the overview of the province which I wanted to give. It's just too damn windy. And the gusts when I'm on the bike almost push me off the bike sometimes. And <laughs> yeah, audio is not gonna be good. Views are not so good. So what I think we'll do or what I have done is I've just jumped into a restaurant called Tung Bua Lane Seafood just nearby. Ladies seems lovely, so we'll order some food here and replan and work out what we're going to do. There are a ton of menu options in Thai and in English. Just give me an English menu. I think they're used to tourists here on this beach and you have a whole host of different options, including ton of seafood. Now we're in the southern provinces, in Chumpon, it's time to go proper southern with the food. So we're going to have sator or stink bean, and the dish is called sator kung tod, which I don't think I'm pronouncing it right because I had to do it a few times for her to understand. But sator are stink beans. I've never had stink beans before, and it comes with shrimp in this case. So, well, hopefully they taste better than the name sounds just waiting. I asked to film in the kitchen and she got a little bit nervous. So she's just preparing herself and getting stuff ready to make it. But hey, don't tell me easy and relaxed to film around, right? Not really that intimidating, but it's quite cute that she's quite nervous. In, in, <laughs> you know what I mean. So we're just waiting. Right, we're into the kitchen. <laughs> and I just love getting in kitchens like this. I mean, look how cool this kitchen is. Got the, the hobs, where the magic happens and the gas burners over here. I've seen before how much heat comes over those gas burners and she's just preparing the sator, gung tod. And these are the stink beans. Look at that. I mean, it's my hands, I'm eating it, so we won't worry about that. And I've never had these, as I said, when you get them, normally they come on a really long pod and you can like pop them open. I'll put a photo here because I don't think she's got the pod. And she's peeling the big prawns as well. This was just meant to be a stop off, but if it's good, well, not if it's good, because it depends on what we decide to do. But if it is good and we decide to make this a proper food video, maybe we'll order some more dishes too. But I just wanted something to eat. It's lunchtime whilst we replan. And I'm not feeling good about doing a, uh, a tour around the province. It's just, I have never seen wind like this in Thailand. Butterfly and those big prawns open. And thank God taking out the poop trail. <laughs> big juicy prawns. From this beach. From this beach? Yeah. That's what I like to hear. Fresh local prawns. And stink beans are from Chumpon? From Chumpon. From Chumpon too. Do you have the big... Uh, yes, in the garden. Ah, okay. Your garden? Yes. Ah. Uh, there you go. Fresh from the garden. garden but not have every time. Ah, sure. Yes. Just depends, right? Stink beans from her very own garden. I have to like them now, right? Hi, big copy. Uh, dry shrimp. Ah, shrimp From paste. Cooking, yes. Shrimp? Yeah. Okay. What do, you, what do you call this in Thai? 
Capi. Capi? Yes. Nampri capi is the dipping sauce you make with this, right? Yes. Ah. Oh, the oh. smell. No, yeah. <laughs> you see, I like the smell. <laughs> As you see, why well, I like blara. Really, really nice. But pungent. But when you cook it, I mean, it's very, very strong of shrimp if you haven't smelt this before or cooked with it before. But when you cook it, that really shrimpy, fishy, like, flavor disappears. And even better if you roast it. But when she'll put it in the hot wok, then you start to get this amazing savory flavor. And if I gave you two dishes, one with shrimp paste and one without exactly the same dish, you might not be able to say the shrimp paste is missing, but you'd notice something is missing. So it wouldn't have that rounded savory flavor. Okay, let's go through the ingredients. We have big chunks of red chili. We have torn up kaffir lime leaves. The prawns, which she said are local from the beach here. And then, as I said, the stink beans. And a few you fresh have the chai. Or not chai. Ped, ped. Ped, ped. Okay. If you have the spicy, you can more. Chai more cup. Red chili. Cup. And the garlic. So red chilies, fresh. Yeah. And garlic, yeah. pounded up in the pestle and mortar. All right. Into the wok goes the pounded. Ah, she's pounded the red chilies as well with the garlic and a little bit of oil and the smell you get coming off that. And as I said, the shrimp paste will go in now so you can cook that flavor out, cab. Oh, and straight away you get the shrimpy smell. Love it. Such a authentic flavor of Thai cuisine. And you can get it now. I, you know, I get this in the UK now. Uh, yeah, so the water will stop it burning. So it will cool the wok down a little bit and it won't burn that garlic. There you go. And she actually, <coughs> oh, the oh. chili in my throat. She actually speaks good English. How long have you been cooking in this restaurant? Uh, 20 years. 20 years? Should be good then, right? <laughs> Stink beans go in and the shrimp. <coughs> it smells good, but that dry, toasty chili gets right in the back of your throat. A little bit more water, just to add to the sauce and make the sauce. How cool are these kitchens though? I said it, I just love. It's a proper working kitchen and clean. Definitely clean. Might put some of you guys off, but this is how it should be. Okay. Little bit of sugar, but I don't like too much sugar. So I say uh -huh. one noi, which means just a little bit. One noi. Chai cup. Okay. She understood. And last up, more ch <coughs> more chili. No. And it's not just me coughing, she's <laughs> coughing as well. It's not just me. <coughs> more chili and those lime, uh, <coughs> kaffir lime leaves. Oh, I don't have yeah. COVID, I promise you it's the chili. <laughs> yeah. Right, onto the plate. Oh, it looks good. Look at that, the colors. Incredible. Okay. All good? Okay. Cap. Let's take this over. If it tastes as good as it smells, I'm in for a treat. Got the food at the table. I'm going to dump the rice onto the plate. Now we have our meal. Our lunchtime snack, although it's a bit more than a snack. And as I said, I've never eaten stink beans before. And they've always been intrigued by them, not just for the name, but they look so vibrant. They're green, luminous green, almost color. So maybe let's just try a stink bean first. Mmm. Oh, wow. I mean, it's spicy. You can get the spice on the first uh, taste, but then the stink bean has a really interesting flavor. There's a crunch to it. I mean, it, <clears throat> it is spicy. And there's a crunch to the stink bean on the outside, and as you chew into it, almost this like sulfury 
gaseous. I, mean, I, I don't really have the words to describe it, but it is delicious. And I'm sure it will go very nicely with those prawns, those big, big prawns. So let's take one of them. And she's just butterflied them open and left the shell on actually. So I'm gonna need to get some napkins because I'm going to go hands in. We're good. Let's go and get some. Eating seafood with your hands is kind of the only way, right? Mm. Oh, wow. The sweetness, even just sucking some of the juice out. She's left a little bit of the head on. Mm. Local prawns from the beach or the bay, probably not from the beach. Ah, she only, she took the majority of the shell off. She just left the tail and a little bit of the head. So actually, we're all good. Get a little bit of everything on that spoon and in we go. Sweetness from that prawn, as I said, comes through. Obviously, the chili flavor, like the, the actual chili flavor, because there's some big chilies in there as well. Those big ones were really mild, actually, more like what we would call a pepper. And the smaller ones are the ones which pack the punch. But these stink beans, so interesting and they go so nicely actually with the seafood but the flavor really does change the more you chew them this is on right on the beach if i was sat here with a cold beer sun going down slowly eating the shrimp that's caught from the bay the stink beans from her garden and her warming personality i'd be a very happy man I'm a man who's not really sure where to take this video. <laughs> but I wanted to keep rolling, because I wanted to show you guys, again, you can still have good moments, even when things don't go to plan. I planned four or five stops around the province today. As I say, it's just, it's just not gonna work. It's not gonna make for a good video. But it's not just me whose plans have been ruined. Like, okay, YouTube video, boo-hoo. Not the end of the world. Other people were meant to go to Katow today on the boat, and the boat's been canceled. So, that, I mean, their plans really have been ruined. And there's a financial cost to that, so I can't really complain too much. I'm sitting here eating nice food in a cool restaurant on the beach, hearing the waves actually. I don't know if you can hear them, but it's quite cool. And uh, yeah, life, life isn't so bad. I'm still trying to get my head around the flavor of the stink bean. So it's called stink bean I was reading. It, was, it didn't really smell to me, to be honest, but apparently they can smell quite badly. But it's a very unique flavor, as I said. There's like a nuttiness there, a bitterness, a sweetness, a crunch. And it's like gassy, not gassy, gassy, it doesn't, it's not really a taste, is it? But it's like, it's a flavor I can't put my finger on. And I don't know why, but it just balances so nicely with the shrimp. And the shrimp, she's cooked to perfection. Obviously, if you overcook shrimp, they can go rubbery and like little bullets or big bullets in this case. <clears throat> These are so juicy. She has cooked them really, really well. I am glad I stopped here. In fact, I literally just turned around <clears throat> from where I was and saw there was a restaurant here and it is empty, but she had a big smile. And you know, I've said before, when people are passionate about what they do and they care, of course it's going to be good. And I wasn't wrong. Last spoon of stink beans. Mm. If you've not tried them, look for them on the menu and try them. And this is what I try to do. When I see something I don't recognize or something I haven't tried, try it. What is the worst that can happen? Mm. When you have that menu in, in your mouth, the bitterness from them comes through. And maybe that's why it works so well with the prawn, because it balances the sweetness really nicely. So if you're staying or visiting Tung Wa Lane Beach, and it is one of the most popular beaches in the area, actually, and I did want to stay here, but now I've seen the weather, I'm pretty glad I'm by the river. I think you can agree with that. But yeah, if you are here, come to the seafood restaurant. Prices are pretty reasonable for what it is especially if she's using local fresh seafood as well. And the portion's pretty good too. Say hi to her. Well, guys. I really don't see this happening. I can't believe there's 
no one's surfing out there, to be honest. And I had to uh, wait. I drove all the way down the beach. Well, not all the way, but I wanted to see what the beach is like. And actually, it is pretty nice and good weather. Definitely recommend staying here. Very beautiful. But I couldn't do it <laughs> coming up the other way because the sand was blasting my face. Anyway, I'm gonna go for a little ride. If I find anything interesting, I'll show you. Maybe it will just be voiceover because the wind is not going to be good for audio. And if not, what I think I'll do is Tonight, I wanted to go to the night market anyway and eat at the night market. I'll bring the camera along and I'll show you guys the night market and what we can find in the night market. So you have a place on the most popular beach to eat. I gave you the halal food yesterday or in the previous video. And then we'll have a look at the night market in Chumpon. Hey guys, I have come to Khao Matri viewpoint and I'm on the sheltered side and it's still not that sheltered to be honest, but the view is amazing on both sides. On one side, you have view over a tiny little fishing village or fishing port. I think it looks more like a village, but very, very beautiful. It looks like it's a floating village on the river. And then you have the view over the bay, the huge bay that we've just ridden around. Although obviously I didn't film because it was terribly windy but you have the marching white horses of waves coming into the bay. Really, really beautiful sight. If I can fly the drone, I'm not sure if it will be able to handle this wind, to be honest, but if I can fly the drone, I will do. And then on the other side, you have the same view. Well, a different view, but of the same thing. You have another large bay with the white waves marching in towards the beach. Pretty nice viewpoint. And I imagine at sunset or on a nice day with blue sky and no wind, it's gorgeous, but we have to make do with what we have today. And this is more than what I expected. I didn't expect to make any more footage of the day, so we will take what we can get. All right, let me show you the view on the other side. Got a monkey statue where people have put glasses on the monkeys. That looks quite funny, actually. And then the view, maybe even better of the bay, down here, you can see the waves. It's even beauty in the rawness and roughness of this weather. We've got a few little islands out here. And this, I think, is called Sari Beach. Anyway, let me see if I can fly the drone. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I flew the drone and it was doing okay because it was on the sheltered side. And when I turned it around to come back, a big gust took it and blew it a little. And then it couldn't get back and it was going backwards and backwards and backwards and backwards. And it was in sport mode, the fastest mode that can be pushing to go back to the where I was, it just wouldn't do it. And then it started to lose signal, oh my God. I managed to run round to somewhere and just get the signal back and tried to land it in a petrol station, I couldn't. And I couldn't really see what I was doing. I thought I was over a school playing field and I landed it hoping that, you know, kids aren't gonna steal a drone, right? And I could come and find it in the school playing field. Luckily, DJI saves a location on the map. So I put it into Google Maps and look at this. Can you believe it? <laughs> Woo! Thought that was going to be an expensive mistake. But we've got the drone back. Little beauty. Do not want to have many moments like that again because that is stupid. Do not fly your drone in weather like this. 